these are our white potatoes. These are the white potatoes, and again, you just clean your potatoes mm -hmm. and do not poke them. If you poke the potatoes, it's going to oxidize. It's going to leave a little dark spot. It's not going to hurt oh. anything, but it's just not going to look as pretty when you cut them open. And so we've got about a, one layer here or a little bit more of potatoes in mm -hmm. here. So you're going to add about a half a cup to three-fourths of a cup of water. And turn your pot on high. Again, I like to cook white potatoes on high. Okay. Because again, it'll keep a, a better color. If you do them on low, then it's just going to be a little off-white, tannish type color. They don't keep the white then. Yeah. They would turn but this way, they, they stay nice and white, and the, and the skin stays nice and firm. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. yeah. And well, let's see. If you do like one layer of potatoes, mm -hmm. it's going to take about two to two and a half hours. Okay. But you can do a whole pot full, even a, oh. a six-quart pot, you know, something big if you have a big group coming over. Right. And it's going to be usually about three to three and a half hours. Oh, okay. So, so you'd really have to use your, what do you call it, lamp appliance timer? Is that what yeah. you call it? Yeah. In fact, like if you're, let's say you're going to church yes. and you're going to have company over, yes. then uh, if you need to, you set it to a timer. And, and I've, I've fixed meals for groups and and I can have food on the table in 15 minutes. Man, that's nice. Yeah, um, yeah. Instead of having to wait around. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that would bring back a lot of memories for me. My grandma, we used to always go, sometimes go over to her house for, for a Sabbath dinner and stuff. And mm -hmm. she always had baked potato. Mm -hmm. It was like her staple. Every yeah. Sabbath dinner, yeah. we always had baked potato. And it, it's easy because then if you know that on, you know, at the last minute that more people are coming over, right. you can just pull out your pot and put your potatoes in there, mm -hmm. you know, and it takes just a few mm -hmm. minutes. Yes. Now, what's the aluminum foil for? Is okay, that anything well, I special? have some foil here, and let's say that I uh, my lid doesn't quite fit on the top because yes. I have so many potatoes in there. Oh, okay. And so yes. I'll use foil for a lid, and let's say, oh. uh, I mean, I've used this uh, for a lot of different reasons, uh -huh. like if I'm baking bread, like you can bake bread in a can, let's say in a juice can, if you want a, a round loaf. Oh, are you serious? Uh -huh. But your your um, oh, wow. your lid won't fit, of course. Yes. And so then you would just cover yes. the, the pot with a okay. piece of foil and two pieces if, if necessary mm -hmm. and just clamp down, crimp down the edges and it's ready to go. You, would you want anything like a rubber band or anything to hold um, it tight? I've or tried no? that. Bef it that, does uh, work. It does work, but it's, it's kind of it's just more work than you need to do. Mm -hmm. you know, foil works perfectly. You just yes. tighten it down. Yes. In fact, the heavyweight foil, you know, that tightens up True. more, but True. this works fine. Oh, yeah, that's good. And so I've, I've had these, you know, sometimes people will lose their lids yes. or crack their lids Absolutely. or pop their tops or, yeah. you know, yeah. most anything. <laughs> so this is handy. Yeah, all right. Okay, well, let's start off with our baked potato that we did in the crock pot, mm -hmm. and then we put some gravy on here and some vegetables. Potato with the sour cream mm -hmm. again, and this is some burger. Like, you can Go use on. a commercial burger, like a Boca burger. Or more.